Nice. All right, let's continue. The Last of Us Part 1. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I got confused because I stopped it up here, but it's fine. It just put me back just a little bit when I loaded in. Okay. Ah, man. Okay. To the bridge. Just gonna have quick scavenge first. <laughs> I pr Posters. I saw this not before the outbreak. He did. Is he totally gutter by the end? <laughs> Nobody gets gutted. It's a it's a dumb teen movie. Who dragged you to see it then? I don't know. Let's just stay focused. All right. All right. Oof. <laughs> That's... I mean, honestly, it's a fair question. It's like, why are you seeing a teenage movie? Yeah. Let's go through the alley. Oh, it's that fucking truck. It's all right, just keep your head down. Nope. Keep going. I don't know, 20? So I'm gonna have to fight the truck now, huh? You have 25 camps a day? This game punched you in the balls of feels, oh boy. Yeah, I mean the start was was pretty pretty rough. When you make us more, what? what do you think I'm awesome? Yeah, I bet you do. Man, I'll save your ass when I quit the last week. I'll think about it. Stealth might not be an option here. I'm gonna play the second one at some point. Uh, but I haven't quite decided yet. Not anytime soon, let's put it that way. Because <laughs> it's not that I'm not enjoying this, that's not it at all. It's more just a case of, uh, it's just, it's just so stacked for games right now. It, it truly is. It's just this year. The sheer amount of releases, there's been something basically every month to play. See that over there? What? What is it? Oh, fuck me. Alright. This is the best result. Dude with gun goes first. Got a military turret. Just stay down. Um, yeah. I. I mean, I guess I'll see. Cause the second one, I've heard mixed things about it. So I'll see how the story lands for me as a finale. But it's something that you probably won't. Even if I'm like, okay, I definitely want to play the next one. Um. You probably won't see it for a few months. Just because of uh, what's what's coming out in basically a week. But at the very least, this was going to happen for Halloween without fail this year. I've just been asked about this game every year practically <laughs> for the last three, four years. I'm 
surprised I didn't lose health. How did that happen? I thought I got hit, and yet I'm on full health. Or did I pick up a heal? I may have picked up a heal. Most issues people had with the second one are stupid as hell. Personally, vouch for the second one, but that's your opinion, obviously. No. I okay. Like I've heard a cup I've heard a couple of the issues. And a couple of the issues are really stupid, for sure. But then there are ones that are more Like I guess they weren't happy with just how that one played out in general compared to this one. Which is more of a valid complaint. I wasn't spoiled on the story, it's just more, I guess, that was the complaint, is like, this one plays out a lot better. At least in the opinions of, of those that are, have played the second one. Okay, how am I going to deal with this? I can, I can shoot here. I think all I can do at best is just sneak up to it. Oh, okay. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Um, that, yeah. No, I thought that about sums up how these fights have been going. realistic to be able to get look what's the play here I can't run up to that thing can I all right let me chill here and think about this They're not getting me here. Let's see what I have around that I might be able to use. Unless it's just another case where I just ignore it and just move. I don't think I can get away with this. Okay, but like... Is this car gonna blow up now? Is 
It's a fucking armored vehicle. Like, what am I gonna do against this? I don't have grenades. I suppose I have a Molotov. I don't know, I would think like lighting it on fire would be a good idea. Guess not, huh? Hmm. I don't just want to shoot at it, because... They had a story to tell, and they just told about any concern for how people wanted things to play out. I can respect that. Yeah. I have no frame of reference with it. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, let's just cross the street. All right, well. Should probably just try and get across without incident. Now I, I kind of have to. The way that thing chips away at the pillows while it's shooting at you. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm worried. Oh, where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> Jeez. I didn't even see where that dude was hiding. He was probably there the whole time, just in the split second I looked at chat, I just walked past him or something. I guess it's just from yeah. building. Now that song's gonna get stuck in your head, sorry. Oh, nope, bad. Cole, go back. Is there another building we can get into safely? Oh, behind us. Okay. 
that your daughter brought home my favorite instrument. Oh, the recorder. <laughs> That game was a lot of fun, but man, that soundtrack. I'm ready to blast anyone who comes this way. Surprised I haven't followed me in. They're backing up. I think we lost him. They don't teach him any songs, so she's just blowing into it, making loud noises. <laughs> and this is why I just don't like that instrument. It's just I had a friend that would do that. And you could hear it. It really is how I describe it as like... They could be playing it at the same volume, but it just get it just gets progressively louder and louder. Even though they might not change how loud they play it. Hmm. I'm guessing this was just a little bonus area. Oh wait, I can't climb back out anymore. I want to know if anyone just... That's their primary instrument. And that's what they're known for and that they're famous for it and, you know... They have this just amazing music career with the recorder. I feel like you'd have to diversify if you uh, were to start with a recorder. You wouldn't be able to get anywhere with just knowing the recorder. I'm kind of afraid to drop, but... No, there has to be another way. This... This, this is dumb. Yeah, there we go. Ledge. We're okay. They can't see us. I bet they can. I expected that to happen. Well, she's got a shiv. There are, in fact, famous and notable recorder players, really. Leave him alone. Easy, son. Just take it easy. It's all right. They're not the bad guys. Lower the gun. Man, you hit hard. Yeah, well, I was trying to kill you. Yeah, I thought you were one of them, too. Then I saw you. If you haven't noticed, they don't keep kids around. Survival of the fittest. You're bleeding. Ah, it's just nothing. I'm Henry. This is Sam. I think I caught your name was Joel. 
Ellie. How many are with you? They're all dead. Hey, we don't know that. There were a bunch of us. Someone had the brilliant idea of entering the city, look for supplies. Those fuckers that ambushed us, <clears throat> scattered us. Now it's all about getting out of this shithole. We can help each other. Ellie. Safety in numbers and all that. She's right. We could help each other. Mm. We got a hideout not too far from here. Be safer if we chat there. Hmm. All right, take us there. Follow me. Sorry about the whole gun thing. Don't worry. I would have probably done the same thing. I heard some bad stuff going on down there. Yeah, the military band is on. Oh. I love how you get rewarded for not not following them. It's like you could follow them and listen to the conversation, or you could go explore and get rewarded for just not listening to the lore. Gotta be careful. We're right next to one of their lookout areas. This is just you and your daughter. We're not related. We're more like, um... I promised someone I'd look after. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Okay, so we've got a moment of calm here. Can't see anything going wrong in the next five or so minutes. Wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. Or the truck's just gonna pull up on us. Alright, never mind. <sighs> We're gone. Man, that fucking truck. It's been hounding us ever since we got in this damn. Sam, what are you doing? Nothing. Get rid of it. My backpack is practically empty. What's the rule about taking stuff? It weighs like nothing. The rule? What is it? We only take what we have to. That's right. Now, come on. How far is this place? We're close. Real close. I mean, I can, I can understand that. But I have a comic book in my bag currently, so <laughs> who knows? Ladders. Shit. Ellie, you watch our back. What'd you find? Say nothing. Say nothing. Looks like someone was up there, but they're long gone. So where are the others? They wanted to give it another once over. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All right. Keep an eye out over there. I'll check this area. That's just good timing on my part. That's just bad timing on my part. <laughs> okay, this is going to be divide and conquer. There we go. Sleep time. Right. Watch my back. I got him. What? <laughs> Look out! Okay. We did it. Not bad, old timer. Oh yeah, I guess he is old. Come on, up on this truck. Like he'd be pushing fifties.
Oh, good. Cat, I can't. Let's just see how smart they are. I love how they just follow me. When they have no problems climbing this. <laughs> Again, just not really sure how I survived that, but that's fine. Through this door. Hold on. Hold on. Safe, being so close to them. I'm not the one with the key, man. And where'd you get that? I killed one of them. He won't miss it now. Everybody through. Not one of these. Back here. I mean, either way, I think this is just leading to a lesson in trust, I guess. So, how old are you? Me? Fourteen. How old are you? Uh, the same? Oh, you're fourteen, huh? I'm close. <laughs> All right. I am. There's a rapid switching on the shotgun. Yeah, well... This... It's just because I was playing Sea of Stars earlier, so I accidentally pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, that's, that's not attack. Here we are. Welcome to my office. How long have you guys been holed up in here? A few days. We found a bit of food, though. Here. It did kind of work because Blueberry. the side switching, I guess, Blueberry. I somehow avoided bullet bullets that way. <laughs> but hey man, relax. We're safe. So why haven't you left? Been waiting for the right opportunity. And? Here. Check this out. These sons of bitches. Every day they congregate down there, guarding that damn bridge. Come nighttime, it's down to a skeleton crew. After sunset, that's our window. Most of them gone, sneak right past them. That could work. No, oh, it'll work. It'll definitely work. <laughs> wow. All right, ready? Oh. Ow! <laughs> a blueberry hurt you? Uh. Boy even cracked a smile. She doesn't seem bothered by all this. Do you know something's gonna go wrong now? I heard the fireflies are based on the west somewhere. We're gonna join up with them. Something funny? Oh, it just seems like there's a lot of people putting their stock on the fireflies these days. Yeah, maybe there's a reason for that. So you don't know where they are, and you're just gonna drag him across the country to find him? I tell you what, how about I worry about my brother, you worry about your girl. Easy. We're looking for the fireflies, too. <sighs> this is us. There's an abandoned military radio no. station just outside the city. 
Any survivors from our group, they're supposed to meet us there. Tomorrow. You and your girl, you won't join us. It goes down tonight. I guess we best rest up then. He says it's time to go. No, we're gonna be moving fast, okay? So no matter what, you stick to me like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Got it. Good, good. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all stay close, okay? You tried this before? Uh, okay. yeah. That's comforting. Hey, it's Charlie, what's up? Just hope you know yeah. Before we leave, we're just gonna look around real quick. Hopefully by the time I get to the next upgrade bench, there'll be enough to upgrade the shotgun. One of these days going up the stairwell is going to pay off. <laughs> there'll be something in a corner and I'll be glad I did it. Let's take a guess. Something's gonna happen to the kid. Just trying to keep warm. How's it looking out there? It's a form of foreshadowing. Some infected. No sign of those tourists. You think they're still in the city? Yeah, they're still around. You're gonna pay. What? Hey, I thought the guy was gonna follow my lead, and we were gonna double take them down. What the hell, man? Oh, oh, by following my lead, you mean just sitting back and doing nothing? Okay. You said you got this. I thought it was like, I'll, I'll follow your lead, you got this. So like, you know, I trust in your leadership, but I'll back you up. They didn't back me up at all. Thought it was gonna be one of those things, like, you know how you partner up with someone in games and then you do a stealth takedown together? That's what I thought was gonna happen. That's the way. Yeah? You would- yeah? Oh, oh, so now that you've seen me take down three guys that way, how about next time? Uh, next one is you, yeah? So, next time, your turn. Just do what I did. Nothing. Scope out that building. Joel, do you write? Shut up. Where the hell is this guy? Oh my god, do you know what annoy <laughs> the thing that annoys me the most in games is there's a section where you're in stealth and you have to be quiet and the person you're partnered up with is like to your right hey Shh, be quiet they'll hear us it's like <gasps> thank you captain fucking obvious <laughs> Now. He's got this. Watch my back. Joel! 
What? Relax. Don't lose him. We are safe here. This is just the classic, hey, lemmings attack. They see the body, they come here, they die, I crouch back down in my little spot, and then it happens again. How did he hit me? There you go. Cover me. I'm moving up. I got your back. Just relax again. Wait for the lemming. Everything is fine and under control. I wish it would give me more shotgun things. <sighs> the thing is, if there were gunshots at night, you would think it would wake the rest of them up. I hear the car again, or is that just the generator? It's a generator. Henry, give me a hand with this. All right, you ready? Here's where it goes wrong. I'm preparing for the part where Keep your eyes open. We ain't out of this mess yet. Well, that's gonna happen. That's why I'm. I got the shoddy out. out. <laughs> Look, I'm ready. We're good, Sam. Let's go. He's getting shot right now. Or something bad is gonna happen. Okay, we gotta get him up. I'm sorry. We're leaving. What? What's this bullshit? Hey, now! What the fuck, Henry? He's comeuppance. Comeuppance is happening. We stick together. Damn, kid. All right, all right. Jeez. Oh, 
Like All right. Well. <laughs> right out. They might come through here. I mean, for a kid that's grown up in the apocalypse, got a good head on their shoulders. Time for sleep. Over there. Get him! Find those tables! Watch my back! I got him, I got him! Okay, well, Ali's getting into it. Oh, they can't actually get here. Is he over there? <laughs> oh. Spread out. I see. <laughs> I wish I could drag him in. Fine. It's fine. Just keep following the trail of bodies, you lemmings. Huh. Okay. This is the last one, I think. Hey, buddy! I haven't really been using this listening thing as much lately. Oh, it's just getting this out of the way. What the? What was that? Nice, nice camera. Nice, nice camera. I was on top of the car climbing over it and then it just put me back. Oh, okay. I guess we're in Call of Duty now, huh? have left. They're gonna kill us. What other choice do we have? We jump. No, it's too high and you can't swim. I'll boost you up. You run past them. Do keep me afloat. Ellie. No time to argue. Ellie. Oh, shit. Balls. Ah! Oh, shit. Somehow it worked. Henry, he's awake. 
pay you. We're alive. <laughs> okay. See? What I tell you, huh? He's good. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, really? You know, no thanks to you. you. you guys are punch him. Punch him. Henry, Henry, get back, hey, 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 hey. He's pissed, but he's not going to do anything. You sure about that? Stop! Joel? He left us to die out there. No. You had a good chance of making it, and you did. But coming back for you meant putting him at risk. Stay back. If it was the other way around, would you have come back for us? I saved you. He saved me too. We would have drowned. It's fine, Liz. I'm okay. You know, for what it's worth, I'm really glad we spotted you. How? Now, that radio tower, it's on the other side of this cliff. Okay? Place is gonna be full of supplies. You're gonna be really happy you didn't kill me. It's not gonna be that at all. Hey, we're gonna search this area. See what we come up with. That was intense. You cool? Yeah. Let's go find that radio tower. I mean, the way these things go is like, you know, the beacon of light in the darkness. It <laughs> just... It's always ruined. You gotta believe me on this, Sam, alright? Sure. Hey, maybe we can find something in that boat over there. Way ahead of you, kid. Keep your eyes peeled! I mean, just in case. Whoa. What? First time on a boat. <laughs> well, it's a little bit different in the water. One step at a time. Another comic. Well, it's looking like I've dodged the chaos and the mayhem long enough. My time out at sea is coming to an end, I'm short on supplies, and this boat has seen better days, and you know what? This is bound to happen sooner or later. I guess it's time to go see what's left of mankind. What could possibly go wrong, right? If you happen to find my skeleton, please don't step by my skull. Hmm. What do you mean? This is a happy world of bunnies and sunshine. <laughs> hey, Ellie! I think we found something. Let's go see what it is. I mean, to be fair, as far as zombie stories goes, this is m more about humans being monsters. Which I guess is the point of those movies, but the, it hasn't been as predominant as I would have ho hoped initially. Give me a hand with this. All right. Sorry, I don't see. I don't see the command up here. All right, come on, kids, go. <clears throat> You go in. Okay. Oh. Yeah. This is uh Sam, stay close. Someone's finally learning.
Which way? Joel, we should see what's over here. All right, we'll check this side out. Much of a choice. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. This is a generator. It's blocked. If you can get it open, I can crawl through and clear that door. <laughs> oh, yeesh. That is a big rat. <laughs> it's probably more. They'll join us up all the way to Tommy's. Well, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see how everything pans out. I'm gone for a few months, and the world doesn't waste any time going to shit. Everywhere you turn, they're infected and non infected, trying to kill you. Mankind is back to the food chain, baby. I'm kind of shocked I've survived this long. These sewers seem pretty safe. Limits limited exits and entrances make it easy to defend, and if anyone gets in here, I can lose them in the maze. I might not be tough, but I am quick, but maybe I just need to bide my time down here until it all gets sorted up there. I think I'll sweat. I'll be a sewer mole man for a while. Wish me luck-ish. Alright, it's a boat person. It's here. Oh, damn, 50. That's huge. That's practically a whole upgrade there. Why does it seem like the light is dimmer all of a sudden? Or am I losing my mind? Like, it seems darker than what it was. <laughs> to make it spooky, I guess. This way. It looks like there's a path up ahead. Right here. All right. Oh, well, that's where I was. I mean, yeah, ambience. Can we get out this way? I love how I just play with stuff right away. Nah, there's no way to reach that. I can't swim. It's jammed. Okay, I guess we'll look. How do we get across? I guess we gotta figure something out. The old uh, pallet thing. Just gotta find a pallet. Maybe there's a way we can use it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, you can't. Hmm. So, what was he pointing out? It's not this. Yo, wait there. This is the reason why I can't grab it, because there's just a lot of water coming out of it.
This is like a case of the midnight brain kicking in. There's a little pipe here. It's not midnight yet. Nah, no, it's, it's almost midnight. It's like when I'm not seeing things immediately. Henry, give it a shot. Alright. Just squeeze in. Go have a look. You keep an eye out. There's the pallet. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is this. So, I mean, there's definitely something behind that door. It's pretty much either A, take the risk, or B, don't take the risk. You can hear it. There's multiple. Joel! You okay? Yeah. Still in one piece. That's why I saved, just in case there's a waste of time and I wasted shotgun. Nice motion controls. It doesn't know. Yesterday I met some people that did not want to shoot me on sight. Shocking, I know. We traded supplies and went on our merry way. They had kids with them and they seemed pretty scared. I almost told them about this place. What if they're like the others? What if? You know what? I don't care. What's the point of surviving? Don't have someone to laugh at your corny jokes. Tomorrow I'm going to search for them, see if they want to join me in here. It's probably not worth it. Oh, wait, never mind. I see more icons. Okay, this was worth it. Tw the 25? Yep. It's all going for shotgun upgrade anyway, so... I 
Let's go with all, oh, all aboard. That's smart. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get out of this place. All right, see if that generator still got some juice. Guess that we're done with companion crate. It's gonna alert the horde. Right. Oh yeah, no, don't take me across or anything. Give me a hand. Okay. I, I gotta say, I'm impressed with you two. We're pros at this by now. I'm ready. Okay, yes, everything good here. To live here. Don't look like that's the case. Ish. Hmm. Who would stay in here? Mm. Someone who thought they could keep a place like this safe. House rules make sure doors are locked. Ask for password if you don't know the visitor. No shouting and. No shouting and what? Moist play? Run to hiding spot when you hear the alarm. Hmm. Shorty. It says horseplay? I thought it said moist play. <laughs> horseplay? No, no, it says noisy play. It says noisy. I was closer. It's just the Y looked like a T. I don't know. Maybe the just you know they're in a sore. Things are moist. Doesn't have to be anything um beyond that. Early. Yeah. Same with those posts over there. Okay. You hear that? Infected. Shh, shh. Quiet. Yeah, hold on. I mean, there were definitely kids down here.
Well, I guess we know what happened to these people. So you know there was a clicker that had been going for a while. We keep moving forward. All we can do is hope there aren't any more of them. It's probably more. Yeah, I know. Wishful thinking. Hey Susan, I just wanted to drop you a quick line and say these rain catches were a good idea. A super smart to gather water without leaving the place. Hope you don't mind, but I gave the kids a couple of water guns, so of course I've been drenched all day. If you don't want them to have it, let me know and I'll take them back. See you at dinner tonight. Fair warning, Kyle's making a special meatloaf again. Ish. the icon at the last second. Let's go with this one. Okay, safe. Oh man, we're just going to find out more and more about this story. We're trapped. I think everyone else is dead. Some of the little ones are with me. I got infected pounding at the door. I don't know how long we'll hold out. If Ish and the others are alive, maybe they can reach us. If it comes down to it, I'll make it quick. Kyle. Jesus. Well, I mean, they couldn't show the children, I guess. <laughs> Just finding more and more about this story. It's too hot for a boost. Maybe there's another way to get there. Okay, hang on. I can't craft another med kit, never mind. some kind of safety gate or something. Henry, see if we can lift this. So, this is awkward. Yeah, I know. It's like every time... Oh, oh fuck. It's a budget, man. Just go, get out of here. Sam, you stay close to him. Henry, we gotta fucking move! You keep him safe! Go! Jeez. Okay, guess we're doing this, huh? They're gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, come on, kid. Let's see if we can find a way out of here. Yeah. Shotgun out. Okay. Oh, nice. We 
you see that? Stay behind me. If I run, you run. Yeah. and conserve ammo. Oh, that's just fucking annoying. Ah, oh, fuck. Wasn't quick enough to pull out the shotgun. Okay, well, now that that's happened... I know what to do now. Piss off, that came from behind. Did he get bit? I couldn't tell. Oh. Oh crap, I wasn't reloaded. Still around. Oh, piss off. too many of them. I feel like definitely have to run. I'm trying to take the tactful approach, but it's probably not going to work. I see them. I hope it didn't set up both of them at once.
Okay, again. Play it smart. Kind of hurt. I caused both of them to go off. Shit. It's kind of annoying. Oh, this gun's annoying. It takes forever to reload. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, just by the kid saying that, that's it. It's just like, realistically, I wouldn't relax, but I think we can relax. People actually lived here. Wait a minute. Is that a stock photo? <laughs> it almost looks like a stock photo. anything else. Oh, hello. No more, no more lore. This is one of these scenes where I'd expect someone to just burst out from one of those. Look at this place. It's like a classroom. Why can they keep it safe? Not now. Let's focus on getting out of here.
Danny and Ish are uh, protectors. Oh man. Okay. Which way is forward? Alright, well I'm back where I started. It's gotta be like a doorway I missed somewhere. Oh. Just climbing up here. Go ahead. Guess we're running. Yep. Understandable. Decisive kid. Wait, what? I just okay. I'm sure it's fine. staying in here. What about you? I'll be fine. Come on. Go. My headset just decided to uh, be all weird right now. Okay, there we go. Get ready. Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck, we need a shotgun for this one. What the f Really? Oh, jeez, gnarly. Okay, well, fuck me then, huh? 
Infected inside do not open. <laughs> so where's this tower? We're close. Come on, let's go. I mean, I guess if there's, you know, why would you put a warning sign next to a sewer entry? Hey, how you doing, little man? That was a close one, huh? Yeah, not one of our finest moments, but we made it out. Yeah. I mean, I should probably patch myself up now. I'm just waiting for things to take a dark turn. Hey, look at that. Yep, what'd I tell you, huh? Let's find a way around to it. What about you? How you holding up? Business as usual, right? When I was with Henry, I took out a couple of infected by myself. Oh, really? I'd be proud. Yeah. Hopefully there's a crafting bench soon. I've, I've had some good finds. Um, healing speed? What? I mean... Use a shiv to... That might be a good one. I think that one would be a good one to have. It's a shame, they didn't find another piece of lore that kind of ended that story. I mean, they all died, but... I guess they had to take separate last stands. Another night, another shooting. I could see the muzzle flashes coming from Carson's windows. I stayed up the entire night with the whole family in one room. I doubt anybody got any sleep. It's only a matter of time before the looters break into a house. We have to get out of here. That skinny man approached us again. He traded more of his bullets for some of our food. He offered to, he offered us to join him in his hideout. He says it's secure and more importantly hidden. Easily defendable, as he described it. He said the only reason he trusts me is because I have kids. I don't think we can stay here anymore. He seems like a trustworthy guy. I'm going to suggest tomorrow that we take him up on this offer. Uh, well, that wasn't a good idea, then, was it? Well, there you go.
probably fine for a little while. Pretty intense back there, huh? Oh yeah. Totally. How did you two hey. end up together? Oh, I a friend of mine, Marlene, asked him to take me to the Fireflies. You seem to get along well. Yeah, well, now I just boss him around. <laughs> Isn't that right, Joel? <laughs> the silence. Yeah, totally. Can't actually get into that house. What is this? Eleven what? Eleven three. No idea. There's probably some significance to that. Or it might just be like a generic symbol. Seems every house is marked with it. Probably find out why. I have a gun. You loot, I shoot. But then how will I play a looter shooter? My memory's pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. My parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. Oh, doggies. Hey, you're gonna want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. What is this? Oh, this is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They sell ice cream out of the truck. What? No way, Joel. Well, that's true. This thing would drive around and play real loud, creepy music, and kids would come running out to buy ice cream. You're that is kind of creepy music. Mm -mm, serious. <laughs> Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> Told you so. Aha! All right, excellent. I guess this is as good a spot as any. That new gun we have is it needs better reload. Okay. Increases over the I mean. This thing is like an in case of emergency. The kick, I mean. A more accurate one, I don't know. I'm not I don't think that's too important. Okay, this new gun, the shorty. First of all, that is a must. Like, its reload speed is horrendous. Then its capacity is its next most horrendous thing.
fire right now. Recoil, earth, spread. Okay, what else can we do? Pretty much reload speed is the thing I'm prioritizing first every time. Um, like fire it. The only one I'm doing it to is this one because it's yeah, it's fine to be inaccurate with this one. This is good. The other ones is well, I'm making their shots count. Good upgrades. us. You're the adult while I'm gone. Take care of your brother. He's looking to you for protection now. I won't be gone for more than a few days to gather food and supplies. If for some reason I haven't returned after a week, take your brother and head to the quarantine zone. Don't open the door to anyone but me. Save your bullets. If you have to leave, stay low and move quickly. Use your size to your advantage. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these notes, you can kind of imagine what probably happened. Yeah, sailing's falling apart. Right, watch yourself. <laughs> you know, it would not have occurred to me to look there until it's just because I saw the button input. I'm like, all oh, right, I forget. <laughs> Houses have these. We don't have many of these in Australia. What'd you find? You find anything? Here you go. Thank you. Oh. Last two hits. Oh, wow. Okay. That's that's huge. Shit, I wonder if the other house had an attic. Sorry, kid. Grabbing things in reverse. Didn't I see the... Ah, it's fine. Nice, there we go. Oh, there's a safe here. I mean, unless I know the code. Please tell me this is the code. <laughs> One open door, that's all it took. One of us forgot to close the door and a horde of these monsters enter our camp. We shut them in there and wrote a warning on the outside. 
Susan and a couple of the kids are with me. As far as I know, we're the only survivors. I had told Susan so she wouldn't run back in there. Go back for the bodies. It's just too dangerous. She lost her children and I have no clue what to say to her. Every part of my being just wants to give up. It'd be easy to surrender to this world. I can't do that though. I have too much faith in humanity. I've seen that we're still capable of good. We can make it. I have to stress strong for her ish. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay. So, damn, the ones that got trapped. <laughs> they, yep. They left them behind. Ellie, another. found another one of them comics. Yeah. We might find the safe combination. Eight twenty one thirty six. Eight twenty one thirty six. That's a big... Oh, look at that. Nice. I mean, that's going to pay for another upgrade. I just need to find more tool. Upgrade things. Yeah. I'll save for the shiv upgrade. Hey, Sam. Be careful. Point of no return. Get out! <laughs> Fucking sniper. Did you see where he came from? Somewhere down the street. Right now. All right. No, stay here. Oh. House Before directly start, in front of us. I need you guys to keep him busy. I'm gonna go around and see if I can't get the angle on him. Okay. I wonder if it's Ish. Be careful. Oh, really? Well, at least he's not continuing to yell that. Hey, buddy. Joel never murders anyone. That's all about sleep. Night, night time. Betty bye byes. <laughs> oh. 
Well, I think, I do believe they saw me. Aren't they? Oh, fuck off. Let's get to safety. This, this is the strategy. How did that first shot fail? There we go. Oh shit. Oh, how did- how did he not see me? I mean, I guess I am sort of wearing... I mean, it's not official camouflage, but it, it does... I would assume have some kind of advantage wearing this kind of clothing. Maybe not the jeans, but... Did I pick the clothes? No. <laughs> That's fine. There's at least another one more. Keep forgetting about this mode. It's almost like a predator mode. How many bullets does this dickhead have? Like... Well, they almost saw me. It's fine. 
They will probably still follow me across, though. Give them time. You see him? Nothing, man. Oh, man. I see him. Nope. Check us up. They're gonna pay for that. I think I'm back to self mode. Hey, he's over here. Or not. I wish I could pull him in. <laughs> okay. Try not to sound the alarm too much. Very quiet. <laughs> yep. Kind of figured. Oh no. Oh, fuck me. Not now. I'm so bad at sniping. Why? Why now? At least it's infinite, so I guess that's fine. There's another one over here. This is just something I'm genuinely bad at. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Well, oh boy. Dick shot. Okay. 
I feel like I'm playing Duck Hunt. Damn it. Just need, just need the dog. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, fuck me. Really? How many more assholes? Oh, look who's back. is tense. Look, am I supposed to be doing something about this? This asshole. Oh shit. <laughs> Jeez. You cheated as a kid and went right up to the TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I think all the kids love that. Thanks, Joel. Look at this. Oh, all right. We did it. We should move. All right. It hasn't taken me out of this view, so it's probably something. Yep. Shit. Sam, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? I said I'm fine. Come on, come on! Let's move! Oh god. Hey, I can't get out of this view. What the fuck? Why am I stuck in this view? It won't let me escape this. Or is this just going to be a case of, well, if I don't take out enough, I'm going to lose? Oh, God. Okay. Well, this was definitely a lost cause. Anybody hurt? Uh-oh. No, we're good. I think it's time we quit this place. The kid was quiet. Let's go. Let's go. 
The kid is very quiet. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Dead serious. It was Tommy's birthday, and that's all he wanted to do is just rent two Harleys and drive cross country. Oh, man. I could die happy if I could just ride one around the block. <laughs> what was it like? It was good. It was real good. Good? Can, can you believe this guy? Come on, man, give me details. Describe it. <laughs> you know what? You two deserve a little privacy. No, no, Ellie, Ellie. This isn't just any regular motorcycle, okay? You get on that bad boy, you feel that engine? Nothing like it. Oh, yeah, how would you know? Seen it in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I reckon the kid got bit. <laughs> That's where the tension is going to be. Yeah. Worst part about it all, explaining to Sam. The kid's quiet. Well, it's safe to say those two have officially bonded. What are you doing? Taking stock of all the food we found today. I see. And how are we doing on canned peaches? He's very quiet. No. Why would Henry send me? To make sure I'm not fucking up somehow. I'd say we all did pretty good back there. Especially you. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Well, have a good night. How is it that you're never scared? Who says that I'm not? What are you scared of? Uh, let's see. Scorpions are pretty creepy. Uh, being by myself. Or... I'm scared of ending up alone. Maybe. They're gonna share a moment and... He's gonna find out that she's infected. Something. Just, there. There's gonna be some kind of tension happening. What if the people are still inside? What if they're trapped in there without any control of their body? scared of that happening to me. Okay. First of all, we're a team now. Okay, we're gonna help each other out. And second, they might still look like people, but that person is not in there anymore. Henry says that they've moved on, that they're with their families, like in heaven. Do you think that's true? I go back and forth. I mean, I'd like to believe it. But you don't. I guess not. Yeah, me neither. Oh, all the serious talk, I almost forgot. She got the robot, yeah. There, if he doesn't know about it, can't take it away. All right. I'm pooped. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh. Yep, there you go. That smells good. Good morning. Sam and... Sam? Yeah. I'll let him sleep in for once. Oh. By now, he will be, um... Well, if you want him to join us, you can go wake his ass up. He'll be gone. 
or thereabouts. Sam? Sam! <laughs> what the hell? Yep. Shit, he's turning! That's my fucking brother! But it's not him. Shit! Ellie, Ellie, are you alright? Uh, oh my god. Sam? Oh no. Sam? Henry? Ellie, stay there. Henry? What have you done? I'm gonna get that gun from me, okay? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, shit. This is your fault. This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Henry! Hey, how I know. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Kind, kind of figured that something along those lines would happen. Jackson County. It's just close to Jackson City, right? <sighs> foreshadowing and just how these things Maybe generally go in these brother? kind of I'm just ready to get there. Apocalypse situations is like the moment they make friends, those friends are probably gonna die or there's some sort of uh moment where yeah. Okay. I guess time skip forward. I know there's probably nothing behind me, but this is just habit. <laughs> Did I get new clothing? Yeah, no longer camouflaged. I mean, yeah, the moment the, the kid was talking about, like, you know, what Ellie believes happens to those that turn if they're still themselves. You and Tommy. You're not together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, oh, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. Yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. Do oh, I... Last time you I guess saw. so. I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. Are these going to help us? I suppose we're going to find out. Well, if they're without his help... This looks so nice, by the way. Keep going. Okay, so I still have everything. go across. Never mind. <laughs> Ellie is just like, what are you doing? Whoa, what's that? Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> I'm a hydro who? It, uh, it uses the river's movement. And uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All 
right. How are we getting across? Science. Yeah, I bet it's just his clothes got old. We could probably be looking for new clothes eventually. Alright, this is gonna be the uh I'll find, find a pallet thing. Hang tight. Camo clothes would be ideal. Ideally. What state is... Oh, I must have missed what state this was in. It came up at the start, I forgot already. But, you know, I mean... They would have come across a lot of military people that were dead. As morbid as it sounds. <laughs> As morbid as it sounds. I'll probably just take one of their, uh, their uniforms. I mean, people have done more heinous stuff in this. I didn't see a pallet or anything. Hang on, there might be like an underground, underwater path. That scene was done really well, though. Like, just... How quick... It takes place in Texas. I know it started in Texas, because that's where he's from. But I think he moved up... Somewhere else. From memory. I don't know. I'm sure we'll see a road sign at some point. <laughs> uh, this is the time of night where, like, my brain is like, okay, well, if you're not solving these puzzles quickly, and this isn't even a puzzle, like, I'm just not seeing the thing. I'm looking for a pallet, but maybe I shouldn't be looking for a pallet. <sighs> Is there anything else I can use? Hang on. There's a set of dumpsters over there. Might be able to climb up or something. Okay, nope, it's not that. Oh good. Free the wooden- <laughs> Alright, so it is the pallet. Just couldn't see it. Oh man, that blends in pretty damn well.
Okay. I need you to. I know. Step on the bottom pallet. Well, but do I need to line it up over here? I like how these are just conveniently everywhere. Hey. <laughs> or over there on the shoreline. She says I know, but she's not really making an effort to hop on said pallet. There we go. What on earth? <laughs> I swear I had it somewhere there, but I guess it had to be very specific. She's quite particular on where she gets on the pallet. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the one that's been the most particular. Other times, it was alright, but this time it's just like, really? I just don't understand how we can't just, like, look at this. Realistically, you could climb this. It's okay. Alright, and now I get to cross the bridge. Oh, shit. Sorry that I didn't say, um, acknowledge the follow thing. Appreciate the follow, Hawaiian Orc. Ugh, my bot's broken. It's just not announcing followers anymore, and yet it's doing other stuff fine. I need to look into it. Teamwork. But, uh, you moved to a new apartment. Where did you move, um, I guess, the, the amount of moving... I got a, a moderator who's from Hawaii that recently moved to Washington in a big move. Uh, I know, I am too. All right, next squirrel I see, I'm totally shooting it. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. He was here earlier. <laughs> he probably went to sleep. What is she doing? Oh, Canberra to Melbourne? No shit. How have you found the move so far? Uh, should we head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. I think Canberra's like Adelaide and Canberra are the only two places I haven't been. Capital city wise. Oh. If this is sniping, I'm sure it's a great weapon. <laughs> El Diablo. Alright. I'm just very horrendous at sniping. Okay, we're well, we're in Wyoming, so there you go. A few complications before you were staying in Victoria beforehand, but since moving to the city, things have been great. Oh, I I can definitely understand that. I used to live uh down in the southeast, pretty deep in the southeast suburbs, and just moved to the city myself. It's been a while now, but... Oh man, things improved when I moved. Just closer to everything. Particularly work at the time. Just... Traffic. Couldn't deal with it anymore. Yeah, 
Yeah, Canberra is about a seven hour drive or what, like two hour flight, something like that. It's the uh, the city they started because Melbourne and Sydney were fighting about uh, who they wanted to be the capital of Australia. So they just decided to put a city halfway between the two and call it the capital territory. And yeah, Canberra became the capital of Australia. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but that's more or less what happened. Hey, uh, username. How's it going? Do you, is there anything shorter I can call you by? If you don't mind. I forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. Oh, jeez. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just. That's enough. You're right. I'm sorry. I mean, they buried them, so clearly they didn't just move on. Um. Okay, how's it with me? Uh, all right, like, just got through a pretty tense part in the game. Probably only gonna play for a little bit longer because it is late and I do have work in the morning. Some people say username or user. Okay, I'll just say username. And pretty much it's just about other cities bickering over it. They made Canberra. Yeah, pretty much. Australian history do be funny sometimes. Yeah, Henry and Sam's final scene. I mean, I think the conversation with Ellie in the room, I, I kind of saw it coming. The kid was curious about his own fate, clearly. Where am I going? I keep looking at that chat, <laughs> so I'm disorienting myself. Go back up. This was probably just like a little side path. There we go. It's the 1am brain. But it was very impactful either way. Like, even though I did see it coming, it was still a bit of a no shit moment. Like, there was just a tense standoff and then it was over. It was, yeah, pretty well done. Man, the, the one thing, I mean, I'm not a writer, but if they would have, you know, just shown a shot of the toy on the ground and then the blood from the kid just kind of creeping into the toy and then end scene, oh man. I guess we try going here. With that addition, it would have really pulled on the heartstrings. Yeah. I mean, especially if, you know, before he, he killed himself like that would have been the last image he saw. It's like the kid just wanted a toy and he didn't let him have the toy. We didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Oh, shit. It's him. Oh, shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. Won't happen to you too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. 
<laughs> Gotta add story on it to the resume. Nah. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Oh. <laughs> on the ride is team for the third game. Yeah. Oh man. Video game dev is like... We all romanticize it. Even myself, it's just like, it'd be nice to make a game of your dreams, but... Dude, the state of how it is making games, particularly for a larger company, um... It's, it's been a little, a little bit horrible, to say the least. False alarm! They're friendlies! We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing? Are they making a third game, though? You and Jackson. You're trying to bring the plant back to life. I haven't really looked into this series much beyond just, oh, people wanted me to play this. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. I rode on the horse once. It hurt. <laughs> uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. Let's just fi find that. I guess it's not comfortable. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Yeah. Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. The creative director confirmed he's written the outline, but not in development. Okay. Alright, take it easy. I mean, at this rate, given how successful it's been, both the games and now the TV series, it would not surprise me. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Put some food in you. Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. Hmm. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. Come on. I like the dynamic change, y'all. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. Joel's usually not the trusting hey, type. It feels like forever. I'm playing on PC. Ah, uh, no. PS5. Because I want to get use out of my PS5 a bit more. I wish I could play it on PC, but I probably wouldn't be able to capture it at this quality. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. When I upgrade my computer, that'll be more of a reality. Or get a new one. It's not really an upgrade. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Oh, man. Jeez. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah. Okay. You've been wondering if it's still a train wreck because it was so badly optimized and people had lots of issues when it launched. The PC version? Yeah, I'm not sure. Game so depressing. Messiah, have you been watching this whole time? Or was that just a comment on what just happened? Because, let me tell you. What happened prior... Prior to this. Oh boy. That was way more depressing. How was my day? Uh, today was alright. Just... Having a bit of a busy end of the week. And tomorrow is going to be the same, so. But I'm surprisingly not as tired as I thought I'd be. 
Um, but I've been chilling with CS stars in this tonight, so it's been good. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up. It dropped in August on PC. It did not have a good start. Okay. I will definitely keep that in mind if I do look into playing other Sony games on PC. But. I mean, I think the PS5 does a good enough job. It's just this one because the shooting aspects, it would definitely be much easier with a, uh, a keyboard and mouse. You still got to deal with infected though, right? Who doesn't? I've gotten more used to it, but the, the start of this, man, I was doing so horribly. It was, it was embarrassing. I've gotten, I've gotten better at it. It's just, I don't play these shooting kind of games that often. It's hit and miss with God of War. It's an excellent port to PC. Okay. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I haven't played Ragnarok yet, but I will play it because I did get a copy of it at least. Uh, we're almost ready. It was discounted. I didn't get it right away when it launched. It was I waited for that to come down in price. Okay, that's good. I guess that's the other thing is like the pricing on Steam in particular. It's just it's not Valve's fault. It's just a result of what happened in Australia, pretty much with the digital pricing. It's just cheaper to purchase physical copies, even if it's a PS5 game. Ready? You couldn't watch the whole time? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, but that part was definitely something that. We did it, boys! Nice work, boys! What did, uh, what did you miss? Oh, you didn't see. Okay, well, not to spoil it completely if you want to watch this later, but very depressing stuff happened. Just on a multitude of levels. So the, there's been a bit of a time skip forward since that, since the last scene ended. But uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy shit. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon he's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> he's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on. That's then. the case. Got to pick and choose more carefully Jeez, for Steam man. games, not to break the bank too much and wait for sales. Yeah, especially nowadays, it's just spores to take down a dozen men. Everything's just so much more expensive all of a sudden. But I can show you. In the last year. I can't even get potato chips. <laughs> it's just, I have to be like how my parents used to be. Wait for the catalog to come out, see if potato chips are on sale. Otherwise, it's they're like almost six dollars a bag. It's just ridiculous. You know where they are. Anyway, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I, families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. Oh, now shit. You repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. Oh boy. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You knew I would mention the potato chest. So that's, that's a good frame of reference. It's something that's relatable. It's universal. We've all Shit. experienced it. Stop Don't let him into the building. Oh. 
Du har fått subs. Okej, men vad? I mean, there are other there are other things that are just as bad. Like dishwashing tablets is another one that they just take advantage of. It's... Why am I using this? Well, I guess it was good to use this weapon because it did provide accuracy, but still. Oh boy. Probably not the best spot. I even have gyro aim on to help. Damn it. I didn't react quick enough. That was bad. I recognize that. Don't let him into the building. I kind of figured there was some problems with his brother. It's just the mention of him was a bit hesitant to begin with. Hang on, in here first. The definition of insanity is just trying the same thing again and thinking things will change. Really? Wow. <laughs> to be fair, this is only the second time, but it's fine. Okay, cool. Can I get a new pipe? <laughs> yep! <laughs> I crouched! Ah, <laughs> oh, he still got me through the window. Alright. Yeah, no. Like I said, don't play these kind of shooting games that much. But if you think this is bad, man, this the start of this, oh boy. I was getting my ass carried by the NPCs for sure. Let me just... Okay. Try the same thing! What the... F what? What happened there? <laughs> Did I slip? What the fuck happened there? Watch out! Yes! 
Okay. <laughs> it's the same, the same guy in the back of the room. I was shot? Okay. I guess I was staggered. Okay, that time I didn't. There we go. Okay, same plan, but this time I, I got a better idea. You guys don't have my back. Let's get a move on. Okay, hold on. There we go! Where are you going? Oh, jeez. You guys see anything? We got him. Let's get to the bridge. <laughs> Apparently it took four attempts, five attempts. Can you get out of there? No, we're trapped. We're gonna come to you. Just stay. They're here. Ellie, hide. Maria, god damn it. Let's try. Well, I mean, there have been other situations that it's been a Christmas miracle that I've made it. Ooh, an axe. Okay, being stealth. Oh, well, some of the interactions are hilarious. <laughs> Don't want to see funny. There's a clip on my channel called Comedic Timing. Weapon swing doesn't make the shooting easier. No, it doesn't. I put one point into the anti-weapon sway thing, which has been nice. But still, I could be doing better. But I could also be doing worse. Don't have time for this shit. What is what is going on here? And suddenly I've just become Kratos! Oh, oh, okay. What is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What were you aiming at? 
What was he doing? God. What was that? That's all those sons of bitches. Oh wait, this is a friendly shit. <laughs> That's a bad thing about this, I can't tell who's friendly and who's not. They're not wearing bad guy clothing. The wall looks sinister. Okay, that makes sense. The wall had it coming. Get him! How am I still alive? You should have seen some of the shit that happened earlier, honestly. Game is being pretty forgiving, to be honest. I should have eaten shit by now. Look out! Okay. Oh boy. I just remember playing Left 4 Dead back in the day. <laughs> and just the friendly fire shit that would happen. In particularly in, in hardcore. Oh man. It was funny. Getting shot by my own teammates. Okay, well. <sighs> Damn it, I should have. Try to go for the shot instead. Do, your thing. Do my thing, huh? Really? He died as I got there. That. That's probably a bad idea. Why does he only shoot for me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Tommy, I would move if I were you. <laughs> okay. Alright, moving to the other room now. Nope. 
Excuse me. I am not doing great. <laughs> I'm doing poorly. It's okay. In the words of an old cartoon I used to watch, it's like, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, as long as you have fun sucking. They're in a panic room. You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Oh, oh man, they were coming in from every direction. Then Maria was like, "We gotta run!" And so we dove over these tables, and this huge guy blasted with slow a down, shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, then... hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I think he notices. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Oh, but I wanted to explore more. Any idea how many men we lost here today? And what's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? We'll talk about it later. As long as you have fun sucking. Well, you know, you can talk about metaphorical sucking or literal sucking. I leave that one up to you, the audience. And then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. What does he want to take Ellie? The whole thing is Ellie's been infected, but she's uh, not been turned, which means she has some form of immunity. You. So she could be if the key anything, to finding anything at all happens to him a too. vaccine. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. You know, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Uh-oh. Yo! Wait, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. I just saw oh, her no. out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Be careful out there. There. Damn it, I wanted to look. Yeah. Scavenge around. There's probably stuff to get in that room. Must have ever heard something. Probably us saying that, you know. He was leaving. Come on. This does look pretty nice. She didn't go down this way. Another game that, uh, I mean, it's just one of these things that it's just because of time, never got to really check out properly was Red Dead Redemption 2. And I know there's a remaster of the first one now, but apparently it's just upscaling and not a whole lot done with it. Let's go. The music is very melancholic right now. There. More tracks. Okay, good. Either my eyes are tired or I, <laughs> I just don't see the fucking tracks. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it. I think my eyes are just tired. 
Red Dead Redemption 2 is just the prequel, don't need to play the first game to know what's going on in the second. Oh, okay. That was more of a, uh... I guess, for completion's sake, experiencing both, but... It's, I kind of see them in the same lines as these two, you know? But that's good to know. I did play a bit of it, but I wasn't streaming much at the time, so... And it was from the era where I had shitty internet, so... The stuff that I did stream, there's no VODs of it or anything. Back in the dark times, where I had to stream... <laughs> Jeez. In 240 and 320p. Go around, I'll... Nope, fuck. Here it comes. How? How? Okay, hang on. Dude. <laughs> okay. Kinda have no choice but to move up here. Go get the revolver. Dark, shitty days of all the internet. I remember only being able to watch your favorite tunes audio only. Yeah. I definitely remember that. For me, it was so. When I. It was so stupid. But. When I lived further out in the middle of nowhere, it was in one of the newer estates that had. And there was fiber, so I had fiber when I moved out. And then, just because, you know, being so far away from work, it just wasn't good. So I decided to move to the city, and I thought, oh, this place I'm going to move into, no problem. It's in an area where they rolled out NBN. Turns out, where I chose to live, I'm not, I'm, I'm not kidding, the next door neighbor had NBN, and the house I was in did not. And the upgrade for it just never came. Just every plan... Because it was on that stupid cable network. Every plan they had of upgrading it, it just, they had problems. It just never worked out. And I just couldn't have that going on, given I work in an industry that requires internet. So I moved here, and now they're going to have to pry this internet connection out of my cold, dead hands. Anywhere I move to, it's like the first thing I'm looking up from now on. Do you want to, like, make an Australian get frustrated, particularly one that plays games? Talk to them about their experience with the internet. It's the easiest way to get a rant started. But yeah, now look at where I am now. I'm on the verge of being able to do 1440p content constantly. Who knows, maybe even 4k next year. Don't get how some people live without internet nowadays, or what they do without it. I mean, same as what people did before internet. If you live pretty remote, it's just... Yeah. You probably go to a library or something to use it. Back in the dark ages. But we had to talk to people.
the old dial-up router sound when it booted up. I talked about this the other night, oh, I know. <laughs> but, like, if anyone needed to go use the internet late at night, let's just try hiding the sound of that thing when you're trying to get online late at night and you don't want, you know, someone in the house to know that you're getting online. I used to have to smother that shit with a pillow. <laughs> just to mask... The, the loud sounds it made for like 25 seconds straight. It's, you know, kids, and I say kids ironically, not literally. If you want to find out what that was like, just take your phone, make an alarm go off in 30 seconds, and then just pretend that you can't touch it for another 30 seconds. And put it on full blast. That's what it was like to connect to the internet, except it was screeching sounds. I bet the follow-up question is like, wait, connect to the internet? What do you mean, connect to the internet? I thought the internet's just on constantly. That was another good one. When a relative of mine, a younger relative, just was like, Hey, I heard you say connect to the internet. Well, what do you mean by that? I thought the internet was just on. <laughs> Back in my day. Yeah, I know. It's alright, like, I acknowledge that I'm, I'm old. But I'm also... Not at the point yet where I'm old, old, you know? You're not old with season. No, I mean, yeah. Could be older. Youth is a state of mind. Oh, no, definitely. Like, the concept of maturity and youth is definitely on a person. It's like, I don't believe that. Just because you're old, you're wise, and I don't believe just because you're young, you're full of energy and just new ideas. There are some people that are in their 40s and act like they're teenagers. Or in my case, I was a teenager acting like I was an adult, just kind of sick of shit. There are times where I get told, oh man, that's like a bit of a boomer attitude being so against TikTok. And I'm like, no, you don't understand, man. Like, if I was 15 right now, I'd be exactly that way. Because that's how I was with Facebook back in the day. It was just... I kind of didn't want anything to do with it. I just saw it as a waste of time. So, I, I have been the person I've been this whole time. Impossible to have a gaming session in the middle of the day with a friend without a million and one disconnections when someone was using the phone. Or your time ran out. Or you were playing... Yeah. Do you want to talk about struggle? Australia Dedicated Australian servers weren't a thing. That's our horse. She's gotta be it was very rare to have a game that had dedicated servers for Australia. We were always playing on American servers, like... Europe's too far away, so most people were connecting to uh, US West if you were on the east coast of Australia. And that was a hundred, a minimum of like 120 ping. But we just got used to playing with that lag. And it's just how it was. Be careful. Ellie? I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm sneaking around. But it's kind of casual. Another comic. Lots of drama on Facebook. Uh, it's not just that. It's, it's just. 
I don't know. I don't want to get into it. It's probably not... <laughs> it's definitely something that's rant-worthy and a bit of a mood sour, but it's just... There's a, let's put it this way, there's a lot of studies that show that stuff like Facebook is actually terrible for your mental state. It just causes you to compare your life with others on social media. And not everyone shares everything. It's like, typically people will either share only when things are good, or only when things are really bad. You don't get everything, so... It just causes people to compare with others too much, and they start thinking that their own lives aren't as good as they are when everyone goes through shit. So, that's all I'll say on it. I get that people use it to communicate with family, and they don't get much of a choice, and that's just how it is. It's fine. But I think just the whole platform is inherently evil deciding which shirt goes with which skirt it's bizarre get up we're leaving Come on. and if i say no do you even realize what your life means huh running off like that putting yourself at risk you've always had friends surprise how you function with 100 plus ping same yeah <laughs> but that's just what you have to do it's like what or nothing get rid of me the whole time did I quit social media entirely? Uh, on a personal level, yes. In the context of streaming, no, because you kind of need it. What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected. There's no. Uh... How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? Oh shit, she knows. Tell me about Sarah. Ellie? Ooh. You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. That's not a button you should press. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. But I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. She probably does. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. Jeez. I got two walking out. There's more inside already. <sighs> yeah. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> that was just... That's heavy shit. Um, I am... Okay. But I would basically have 2 HP at this point. <laughs> okay. Mission start. Same on my end. Um, yeah, social media. So, on a personal level, I don't use it. But, in the context of streaming, you, you kind of have to have them. <laughs> Particularly, just, you know, doing YouTube, Twitter, and all. Just having a presence so then people can reach you in terms of streaming. It's just a thing. But I don't make it, you know, slice of life stuff, right? Um, so I've quit it in the sense of, like, I don't use it for myself, right? I don't post on it as me. But in the context of streaming, it's just like, yeah, I'll just share, hey, I'm going live, or hey, I'm gonna stream this and that. It's just... It's never anything that personal. Maybe some food here or there on Instagram, but that's just like, you know, you gotta be somewhat of a human if you're a streamer. How that social media can be deceptive. Yeah. 
I mean, not to go down too much that topic, but... There's a thing called confirmation bias. And it's just a case of, like... Just because you search for something and find someone or something that validates what you're looking for doesn't mean it's the truth necessarily. And that's just... Sometimes Facebook just reinforces that shit too much. Like, I, I know people that um, whenever they get into arguments, the first thing they'll turn to is pulling out their phone and then showing a Facebook post. So, that's just... That sort of shit is bad. But then there's, again, what I was saying earlier is just social media. There's studies that show this. Is even studies that have been commissioned by Facebook themselves. Like, you can look the shit up. But it's just... It's not good for mental health. It causes people to compare with others and just think that their life isn't as good. It's like, let's say, you know, you feel like you're having a shitty time, and then you go on Facebook, and people are only posting positive things. It's just, it makes you think, man, everyone's got it so good except me. And, you know, there might be a case of definitely you, that you're going through a tougher time than what they are, but everyone has their shit to deal with. It's just some people don't share that at all. House is clear. Let's get back to the horses. And it just causes this thing where you just feel like, Things are, I don't know, like everyone's doing better than you. Like you're falling behind. That's just one example, but there's others. Just... Don't pay attention to that. It's like, at the end of the day... The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side, that's... Something I guess you keep in mind is just... Everyone goes through their shit. Alright, Shiv Master was the one that I wanted to get. Because that one seems really useful. Jump scare. Clear. You want a hand up? I got it. Ugh. That was a rough scene. Says to me that had his ups. Oh no, there's definitely positivity about it. Like the positive aspects, I, you know, the world is a much smaller place, for sure. You get to communicate with people you probably never would have otherwise, or maybe family overseas that you wouldn't. But it's just the fact that. I'm not going to call it a specific company, but just these companies know this, just this basic human need that people want to stay in touch, and they just take advantage of that. And the old thing where if something's for free, more likely, more likely than not, you're the product, basically. It's like, how do they stay afloat? There's probably a reason why. Give it on back to Tommy. I'm going to hang on to this, fella. That's all right with you. Oh, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. <laughs> I don't want her coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. He changed his mind. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror. You, you can't miss it. 
care of that wife of yours. Does Twitch and Discord count as social media? If the majority are anonymous? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. It's a different kind of social media, but it, it is that to some extent. The definition is... very loose, but the way that I see it is, is just... A platform that is its main function and how people and how people use it is interaction with others. First down, that's right. Yeah, that's confusing. <laughs> you just gotta play it a couple of times. It all makes sense. That's just it's a bit more loose because it's more of media it's a mix of media consumption and social media. Like someone used the description that um Twitch is almost like a bar you visit. I can see some similarities between that. It's like you might go there, you have familiar faces you see, and you just talk shit, basically. Switch streamers are the product and customers. Yeah, something like that. This is a sweet moment, but you know it's gonna go sour for some reason. Central grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. I don't know if I should be galloping like this. Like, I feel like rushing around is probably not the best idea for a game like this. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, cool. We can get off the horse. Say, Callis. What kind of name is Callis, anyway? You forgot to ask Tommy his name. Callus. Ooh, good. Here we go. Uh, what am I? What do I want to do? I don't know if I can upgrade this one any further because I don't have. Yeah, it requires four. Kick. Requires four. We'll go for reload. Reload's always the good one. Gotta hit the hay and snooze, go to find a new streamer to watch. Oh, thanks for popping in, Hawaiian. I appreciate it. I should be probably doing the same myself, too. But, yeah. Have a good rest. Enjoy the rest of your night. Um, how do I feel about tips? What? Okay. On Twitch. What are we talking about here? On Twitch or just in general? What does this do? Okay. Quick draw a second long gun. Eh, I mean, it's probably not worth it. Oh, backseat gaming. I thought you were talking about money. No. Um. Duh. I don't know. I mean, I think with this, unless it's something where I could potentially brick it, so, you know, I've it's to the point where, oh no, this is... This is something where if he doesn't get it, you know, the rest of the game is done. He's... that's it. He's lost. Um... Then... I think it's fine. If if I miss stuff, it's like it is what it is. I'll probably get through the game anyway. Um, long gun holster is not worth it. How? Unless I'm misinterpreting what it does. It's just I'm I'm not a good sniper, so my primary 
use of weapons is pistols and the shotgun when I know something big's coming up. Well, and I do a lot of choke kills, so I guess that's why I'm not saying it's not good, just for me right now. I could probably get more of doing other things. And again, if I'm... I was going to share my opinions on tips in the restaurants. Not really. I was just going to say, well, it's something that I can't talk about because I just live in a country where it, that's just not a system we go by. And so, you know, it's... It's a system that I fundamentally disagree on, but that's just because I live in Australia and we don't have a tipping system. But, you know, I understand that people need to do that to meet ends meet. It's there just, I don't think that should be the default. I think, and it's not uncommon, by the way, like, there's a lot of countries that don't do tipping. But, again, that's just not me trying to change a mind on it. It's more, this is just the reality that I know, because I live in Australia, and it's just, tipping's not a thing here. People get paid a wage where they can live off it, live off it, and we don't offset a an employee's wage on the general public, basically. That's just how that's just how we see it here. It's like, oh, the companies pay people less, and then the general public are basically taxed. Okay. But yeah, not to open that can of worms. Not trying to change an opinion of others. It's just. I recognize that that's the system that people have, and that's what they have to do to survive. It's just... It's not a thing in a lot of countries. And I think that's better. I'm kind of worried there's going to be something bad here, but I think so far it's been alright. At the end of the day, it's just, you do what you do to survive, and, you know, the system you're stuck with is the system you're stuck with. But, I guess, being aware of, like, how the rest of the world is, can change your perspective on things. Everything is expensive enough as it is, making you feel obliged to tip excessively is too much. No, yeah, I know. Everyone, like, that's the thing, everyone is struggling to some degree. And I use the word everyone because <laughs> there's a small percentage of people that aren't. Relatively speaking, it's everyone. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into snarkiness, it's like, again, I, I look at how I live, it's like, I live in a country where it's just, you don't, you don't have people needing to rely on tips to survive, that's just how it is. That is my reality. Also, flamethrower? Damn it. I wish I would have found that before I upgraded stuff. Alright, I think we're good here. Go back. So, these places, people would live here and just study? Even though they were all grown up? Mm -hmm. Study, party, and find themselves. Figure out what they wanted to do with their lives. What they wanted to do with their lives. Uh, okay, horse doesn't want to go up the stairs. That's a giant ram. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports, 
Hell yeah. Sports! <laughs> Sports, it's kind of like that here too. There's that time of year. Hey, over there. Is that it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> America, well, I mean, I think definitely the love of sports is bigger there, but we kind of have How many people you think are a pretty there? big uh, sports culture here as well. I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. Do you think there will be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. I'll go check it out. Shit. Yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. The animal always knows. It's like canary. Okay, canary in the gold mine. Like, that's well before my time, but it's just an expression. That's just miners use canaries. And when the animal got spooked, it meant that there was some kind of gas danger. Something toxic to humans, and so they were like, oh shit, we should stop descending into the mine. You've never understood the intensity of sport fans or the sheer amount of money that sports people receive. Okay. Well, I mean... When you bring it down to just how it is, imagine it just, this is the way I see it. It just, there's a part of your brain that gets excited under certain circumstances. And for some people it might be sports, for some people it might be gaming, but it's still a very similar thing. It's just, I don't know, people like observing people doing things that are better than what you could do. It's like, wow, that's so talented. It's just a fundamental human thing. Even if, like, okay, I'm not into sports either, but I have watched people do speedrunning and that sort of stuff. Um, I hate the term, but esports. <laughs> like, I watch people play certain games at their peak and in a competition, and it's just because it's cool to watch. And it, to me, it ticks the same boxes in the brain. I just, I have never understood why. It's just, some people get judgy about enjoying that kind of gaming content. And it's just like, you do the same with sports. Now, the money thing, I don't know. Probably got a point. Jeez, how am I gonna... I don't think I can take all of them out in a stealth manner. You can with bow. Wait, they don't notice if I shoot them with a bow? Okay, well that I did not know. I thought that they get alerted the moment one of them dies. That is good to know. See, that is that is a tip that definitely worth telling me. Because it's not a spoiler. It's like, this is something that I did not know. So thank you for that one. I guess it makes sense. It's kind of silent. Uh-oh. Well. <laughs> Shit. Never spoil story content. Oh yeah, no. That's nice. I appreciate that. But also, it's just... Even when story content isn't spoiled, there are some that want the streamer to experience everything and there's nothing wrong with that i think that's fine it's just being constantly told to go back it 
does get old. But not that anyone's doing that here. It's just more... I appreciate it when those turn up and just, yeah, take that into consideration. I always say, like, let the streamer hit their head against a brick wall, because sometimes it's funny. And it makes for better content if they knew. If they didn't know anything. If they knew everything up front. It probably wouldn't be as entertaining. And you get voices. Voices, noises, the whole lot. I think I've been okay today. To be honest... Joel! Stop, stop, stop. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, I love how I was about to say, to be honest, I don't think I've been that bad today. But then, lo and behold. Okay. Oh, damn. And there's that. But, um... Sometimes, it's, see, I'm not, I don't realize that I do, I do the thing I do sometimes. It's just such a visceral response that there are times where people will tell me about something that happened on stream. Like, what? That happened? And then I go check the bottom, like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, maybe now the the holster thing's not a bad idea. If I'm gonna use the bow for stealth takedowns from range. Hey, I was thinking I would have wanted to be an astronaut. Oh boy. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just saying. We can't go that way. Okay, I guess yeah, I gotta do this. I hate that name. We had to rig the generator upstairs. Please use it sparingly. We are running out of gas. What about you? Isn't callous like the the term that you use for when your skin gets thicker. A singer. <laughs> Shut up. No, it's also not like cal being callous is also, I guess, not caring, careless. So this, I guess, this horse is like thick skin. <laughs> uh, that's not how it's spelt, but thick skin the horse. It's just... I get why he hates the name. It's like in CS Stars, the villain is called the Flesh Man, so I hate that name. Absolutely hate the name. <laughs> Flesh Man, sir. I think I like walking more than being on the horse. It's just more secure. I feel like things will work out better. Except for here, like now I have to actually get on the horse. But just if things go wrong at a moment's 
notice. Then I can defend the horse. Aww. Are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. <laughs> Must have escaped from a zoo. Do they have infected animals in this game, or is it? I guess it's not, this thing just only affected humans. Hey, look, fireflies. I see. This is good. First sign of fireflies. I don't know if I should be looking around more. Infected animals were a concept in production but was scrapped. Yeah. That makes sense. It's definitely one of those things people don't like as much. Try that gate. I'll be right back. I'll be here. I think it plays out better. It's just basically humanity that gets screwed over. Like eventually, it's just a case of humanity will cease to exist. Even those ones that were infected. And then it's just like Mother Nature taking back everything. Would recommend documentary that's available. It's cold grounded. Okay. I'll keep it in mind. PS1 or PS2. Might even be a PS3. <laughs> Not a PS4. Oh, man. I'll get rid of that emote one day. It's something that doesn't make as much sense anymore. Do some crafting. Just so stuff isn't going to waste. What will I change it to? Don't know. Maybe some other stupid inside joke. <laughs> That'll stop making sense in about a year's time. I'll spores. Shit. All right. Goody. Okay, so I have made shivs. 
Do I have a bottle? I have a brick. Okay, hold on. Okay, wait, well, I mean, that one's even older. Is it? Uh, I guess they're about the same age, roughly. from the same era. One that definitely died out was just Bridge Stream. That one does not get used anymore. Can I get away with this? Oof. Just chill here. I can take my time. Like, this one isn't really doing too much. Interesting that that one didn't move. Ugh. I'm being so indecisive here. Okay, I can do this. Legolas. waiting. <laughs> oh, surprised. Jeez. The PS4 is multiplayer still working. Uh, not sure. I'm playing this on the PS5. D. Okay. Well, I guess stealth goes out the window now. Oh shit! Move, 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 move. Stupid. Stupid. 
Excuse me. Asshole's still following me. Ah, shit. Why? I was pressing the trigger. I didn't want to do anything. How does this work? I think I, I just didn't let it wind up enough. Like, it probably has a large wind up. Ugh. Hold on. That miss it missed. I don't know how, but I shot it too low. what the best way to play this is. The moment I shoot, just they're gonna come after me. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I mean, I feel like just walking past would might be a viable option. Unless I got an arrow back. Okay. I wish I could reclaim the other arrow back. Okay, that did not work. I'm going for a shiv again. I don't know if it'll load it up. It's definitely on the move. Move. Oh no, yep. Suspense. That's great. Okay. Good shit. Dude. I think everything's fine.
Uh, 60% of the world's population are either dead or infected by the pandemic. Okay, found us in town. No one's coming. This is why I didn't play this game in 2020. <laughs> I was supposed to that year. I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll play it this year for Halloween. Eh, nope. Got to it eventually. I did. I kept my promise. Ah, oh, daylight. Okay. More infected, I'm fine. Here, come up on the gate. It's a good game, not a game you'd be good at, but playing. It's, it's a nice watch. Oh, yeah. This game, it's definitely something that's good to watch. This is not usually my kind of game either, but at least I'm not good at it, but I'm not horrible at it. I gotta follow the cable. Hang on. No? Oh, right. But I can't open it. Okay. Uh, oh, generators here. That's easy. Honestly, if... I didn't have to shoot with a controller, I'd probably do a lot better. But I've gotten more accustomed to it over time. The biggest quality of life was just discovering this had gyro aim, which, whilst it's no substitute, it definitely helps a lot. Hang on. There we go. Do I just press the gen- I guess I just press the generator. <laughs> Realism! Let's try the gate. This reminds me when I had to mow law the lawn. <laughs> I would struggle with that shit sometimes. The only game like this you've played was until dawn, and you only liked it because you got to choose the outcome. Okay. I haven't played that one either, but I've heard things about it. Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. Well, let's go. I mean, I will say that this is definitely different than what I expected originally. to see someone by now. Let's get inside. Yeah, it's not a good sign. <laughs> I don't know if I should explore. What, university? 
not as a student at least this is not how university feels like in australia that's for sure Sarah when I was pretty young. the whole like campus life thing is not really a thing here okay. they have student accommodation which are usually buildings that are separate from the university but it's rare to see on on campus stuff the whole college experience as well it's just it's not like that here like fraternities for example they're non-existent you might have social clubs but nothing like the frat life that you see in movies or like the spring break shit there is something for finishing high school that happens but other than that I don't know, man. You go to college to learn. <laughs> it's like, if you fuck up, that's a bit of a fuck up in terms of how much you're paying. Didn't have the college experience. It's not something that is... 100% necessary, in my opinion. There are some things that definitely, yeah, it makes sense to do a degree for it. But there are other things where it's just like, I don't know, man. I feel like it's just a piece of paper that proves you're organized. I don't know what I'm trying here, like, that's not gonna work. Maybe we can get over it. In my case, this, I learnt some things, but in terms of skill, like the programs that I use for graphic design and just certain programming in general, it's just... I already had some of that skill and my refinement of it came more in a job and it just... I, didn't, I felt like I didn't really get much out of that side of things. Granted, it is good for making connections with people and stuff. Do you have to pay for university there? Uh, yes, but it's government supported. So, it's like a student loan, but it's not subject to like a, a mortgage type interest rate thing. It has this thing called indexation, which is just adjustment for inflation more or less. And then the way it works is, uh, you don't have to start paying it back until you earn a certain amount of money. I don't know what the threshold is anymore, but more or less is like, if you've gone to university, you get your degree, you should be able to get a job with it that's decent enough to pay it back. And if you don't, well, you don't pay it back. So... Yeah, it's like, if you it's good if you're just, like, in my case, right? The first couple of years I did have a job in my industry, but it just paid horribly, because I was fresh out of university. So, I was not penalized for that. I could work my job and not be stressing about student loans. And then when I did, you know, eventually start making enough, it's, it's fine. You survive. So, that's how it is here. It used to be free. When the boomers were young, they got the free education, you see. But, you know, nowadays, we're the entitled ones because we just eat too much avocado. Instead of spending so much money on breakfast and avocados, you should spend that on our education like they did. Oh wait, no, they didn't spend anything on education. Open the door! Um, where am I going? But I digress. The horse is not coming with us. Does it still- oh, the roof. This is definitely the time of night now where my problem solving is just down the toilet. I should go to sleep soon. I will. 
yeah, I mean, let's just... <laughs> the whole avocado meme, it's just... The sad thing is, you know, we say that and joke about it, but there are people that have said that shit and didn't say it ironically, or to joke. It's, they truly believe that young people are entitled. All right, we're inside. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. Every time the camera pans out like that, it just makes me think someone's gonna appear out of nowhere. It's late, but I'm having fun playing this, so... Plus, I Hello? am trying my best to make an effort to get this done before Mario comes out in a week's time now. This well, tomorrow night, next week, I mean, it'll be Mario time, so I need to make sure this gets completed. So I'll make an effort over the weekend, for sure. I don't think it's that long of a game anyway, so. Alright, let's do this. Okay, um, well, I think now that... Does it have a percentage? Uh, don't think so. I'm unaware at the moment. But... I mean, I would say it'd be roughly in the middle somewhere. It's like, you know, the plot has changed from him dropping her off to now him taking her the entire way to the Fireflies, so... What can I do here? Since this is new. Capacity, reload speed, range, power. Reload speed, I guess. There's always the good one. Okay. That's the thing about this, is like, because it feels like a movie, it's a weird kind of cozy, but then, of course, stuff happens that's very depressing or sad or tense. Sorry. I just love the idea of Opening a drawer in an ap apocalypse, and it's like, oh yeah, it's a rag. Fuck yeah, rag. <laughs> it's just magic healing. Do a movie night with this, the TV show. The issue is, I unfortunately where this is distributed, it's a company that I don't want to give money to. Um, it's just because they're partly responsible for why internet is bad in Australia. Here for mankind over here. Anyone? And they always price gauge. Figure out what's going on. I'm not gonna get into it, but yeah, it's just they're, they're very terrible. We ain't alone. I don't have shotgun. This is probably the next best thing. Yeah, it's, it's a bit unfortunate, but they just, they get the rights to a lot of things for distribution. 
But to give you an example of some of the stuff they did, um, when Game of Thrones was released, they made it so Game of Thrones would not be released on DVD, Blu-ray, or iTunes, so then people would have to subscribe to their cable service. They actively blocked Game of Thrones from coming out um, in Australia. So, you know, Game of Thrones had an, a really large piracy rate in Australia. And it's like that with a lot of their things. It's just... I didn't get to see Game of Thrones until way later. I mean, there was a mix of, like, well, I kind of missed the boat a little, but also it was just, like, going to the effort of just finding a good copy of it. I don't know. Especially because at the time that it was... It was getting scary because some people were getting taken to court over downloading stuff. Do I get to see House of the Dragon? Nope, because they own the distribution rights to that as well. And it's the same thing again. Granted, it's not their cable service anymore, it's their streaming service, but either way, I just would rather not give them money where possible. They... yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh man, it's it's such a, a hot button topic for me because it's just the depth at which they they altered Australia's trajectory when it came to internet connection speeds. It's insane. Like there was a plan to give the country ninety six percent access to fiber and then that got scrapped because of a shit a scare campaign. Which they were heavily involved in. There is a book, I could always read it. Book reading just isn't for me when it comes to fiction. I, could, I can read a non fiction book. But for fiction, I don't know why, it's just... It's something that I've never really been able to stick to a fiction book and get through it. For fictional stuff, I, I guess I prefer either games or movies. It's not that I don't read, like I read, it's just, generally speaking, it's non-fiction stuff. It's all right. Yeah. No fireflies either. Well, maybe in all that research, they turn into fucking monsters. Just don't mean to sail the seven seas, but that might very well be a reality. Just the way things are going with streaming services now. It's just used to be able to just have one or two, and now it's just not the case. One night we wanted to watch some Jim Carrey movies and just suggested, oh, let's let's see what we can watch. And then it was, it was Ace Ventura, but we couldn't find access to the first one and the second one together on the one service. They were just split. And it's just, that's how it is. It's just, you can't have one streaming service. It's just, they always have something missing now. 
And every movie company is starting their own streaming service now. It's just as bad as cable, if not worse. And uh, no one's gonna, no one's going to pay. Realistically, no, one, unless you're really well off and you got that much expendable money, no one's gonna pay for more than two streaming services. Like they're just encouraging piracy again. This is why people did piracy during the cable era. It was that exact same reason. They'll, oh, that's the worst. Yeah, if they have, like, three seasons of a show on one streaming service, and then there's, like, a season missing, and then they have another season. Or they have... Ep Fireflies. I've seen cases of episodes missing. Specific episodes, because it's like, oh, they don't have the rights to that episode. Got me some time to reflect. In years, it felt like we were... Fucking thing was a giant waste of time. I'm not... Jeez. Come on. You for the others. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there. Still trying to save the world. <laughs> oh boy. Good luck with that. Do you know where that is? I know the city. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. <laughs> That's a very Australian answer. Firefly? Ooh. Get down. Oh. Are these guys? Don't ask an Australian about specific details. We d we default to like a very vague answer. That's just how it is here. If you if you ask an Australian, oh, oh, how far is it? They'll say not far. Even if not far means half an hour to an hour. How much did it cost? Oh, it wasn't cheap. How are you doing? Oh, not bad. <laughs> Half an hour isn't far. To some it is. Jeez. Anyone else? Why is the chair spinning? <laughs> what? They're not very smart. Just watch them. Don't lose him. Don't lo oh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, right. There, there. Shit. Move, 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 move. I'm not sure how I managed to get out of that one. Ugh. I don't really have a r rifle. Um, all I have is this thing. <sighs> okay. It's alright, they'll- they'll come to me. Oh man, that dude's pretty... Pretty buried down there. He's gone. Okay. 
just wait here. They can't flank. I don't know if that hit. No. Nah. Too far. This is just a case of my eyes being like, oh, you should have gone to bed. That's Ellie, it's fine. I'm gonna try and move up. It's hard. They kind of got me pinned here. In here. Good. Move up. Don't lose it. Good. They actually given up. Okay. Moving up. Yeah, I got your back. The fuck? To your left. Don't let him get away. Over here. Oh shit, you're there. I'll be okay, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> I, I swear I did not see that. Okay. I'm gonna get to the end of the section. This is not for the best right now. Okay, move up. Shit, there's two of them. Got him. Ooh. Yoink. Hopefully they all pile in here. I saw the little... Hmm. Weird. Oh. Jeez. How they did not see me. There's multiple. Okay, this one's gonna... Fuck, body. 
did they see me? Cartoon villains, I swear. Okay, one more. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh. Why are they allowed to shoot so quickly? Ah, I should have just shot. I was trying to conserve. I think it's saved. Yeah. Good. The enemy has unlimited ammo. Well, there was that one circumstance where we were using that rifle. That had unlimited ammo, that was nice. Admittedly, they suck at sniping, but it was nice for a minute to not have to think about bullets. It's kind of nice. That's just right now, I am short on certain ammo. That's why I'm being a little more a little more conservative of how much I'm using ammo. Everyone sucks at that segment. I think I'd suck at that segment even if I did it a hundred times. I just I can't snipe in games. I can't I, I did get the shot at the person in the armored car though. I did that pretty reliably. It's just if I play something like Team Fortress or Overwatch, um, I just can't snipe. That's part of the reason why I never got into Battle Royales, because the thing with Battle Royale is... If I ever landed somewhere and all I got was like a medium to long range weapon, I'd be fucked. <laughs> That's it. So it's just, yeah. It meant there was a strong probability that I would get a weapon that I'd be absolutely horrendous with. It's just... Hey! Okay. See us go when? Nah. I mean, in terms of shooters, the only thing I've played on stream once was Overwatch. Like, game-wise. Um, TF2 would be something that I wouldn't mind. I did enjoy that back in the day, and it's had kind of a resurgence. But also, the thing with shooters, and this is I'm not shitting on them, it's more just... I find they're the kind of game that's difficult to stream, if that makes sense. It's like, you can't really look at chat as often. And... I don't know. You have to fall into two categories. You either have to be entertaining, or be really good at it. And I feel like when it comes to first person shooters, I just would not be on that level of entertaining. Compared to other stuff. And I'm definitely not in a top tier skill, like I'm mediocre. You have to be toxic and yelling all the time. Not necessarily toxic, but I, I get the point. Like, 
A good rage. Okay. Um, I this time around, I, I didn't hesitate. Like raging at a shooter definitely helps, but the times I played it was when I had friends to play the game with, and they wanted to play. That's pretty much it, and those were entertaining. And I think, like, Diablo is going to fall into that category. There's a new season of Diablo coming out, but I'm probably not going to play it unless someone wants to play it with me. Raging helps. Well, not getting angry at your audience. It's more just, uh, you know, just having some form of reaction to gameplay. I find sometimes when I play shooters, I I'm not as reactive as you would think. I would be. You ready? <laughs> With this, it's different because there's definitely like a tense feeling to it, and it's stealth, and I suck at stealth. But otherwise, like sometimes, I don't know. I guess I just don't really say anything. This game is definitely like a very slippery slope thing. It's like I say, okay, let me get through to the end of the next section. And then there's just some major event that happens and I'm like, shit, I can't leave it here. Oh, I didn't even heal, shit. Taco's color and enjoy. You okay? Oh, 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 gee, oh. Oh, impaling. Oh, that kind of impaling. Oh, man. Well, what do you want me to do? Move. What? Move. Oh. Oh, fuck. I was looking at chat. <laughs> Shit. I thought it was going to be a cutscene. My bad. I'll pick the moment to just keep playing through the game. chat. No. I just like to look at chat. Bitch. Ah. 
I just thought that, oh, that was a time to look at chat, but it was fine. We gotta get you out of here. I'm okay. You're not okay, Joel! Now come on! The roll reversal here. Dude, it's like through these double doors. Oh man. Here, lean on me. No. Well, can you walk? Yes. Then fucking walk. Oh man. Come on. There's the exit. I'm surprised her face didn't get fucked up that badly. Drum around me. All right, let's go. I swear to God. Dude, that thing connected with her face. I am surprised. Yeah, I mean, adult, uh, like, child, adult, it, it doesn't fucking matter. Taking something like that to the face, dude. <laughs> That's, like, insta-kill territory. Uh, it's a game, it's fantasy, yeah, I know. It, it hasn't broken my, my immersion, let's put it that way. I was just like, holy shit. She's a better shot than me. I mean, most NPCs in this game are a better shot than me. <laughs> I have no shame in saying that. Not my forte. So, another season. Okay, well, I've seen this clip before. I know what's, what's gonna happen here. <laughs> just that... This is the one part of the game that did get spoiled, is just... Oh my god, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in the world, and then... The rabbit gets skewered. But it wouldn't have shocked me. Just start with. Yeah. <sighs> We're controlling her Ellie now. All right. I can't. <laughs> I will leave that point of suspense. For me, at least. Some of you might know what already happens. But I do have to leave it here. I need to get to bed. Um, I've gone overboard, but I hope you enjoyed the lengthy stream of this. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching tonight, everyone. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you have enjoyed the journey so far, and if you have, 
and want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click one of those buttons, particularly the ones that have a thumbs up on them. It does help out a lot, so thanks to those that do do that, or you can watch me play something else, maybe in one of the other two videos that have popped up on your screen. Yeah, till next time, see you, YouTube.